so today I think the we'll just let the Jackie introduce himself and then the, give us a talk on AI and all the other things. And this Jackie Chen is uh, I think is uh, much more impressive than the other Jackie Chen in the high tech field. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jackie. Uh, I'll just uh, pass the baton to you. Thank you so much, Ming. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity. Can you hear me well? Very well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and also thank you, uh, thank uh, Elder Elaine, and uh, giving me the opportunity to to share here. I'm very excited because uh, uh, I have two uh, young children. Uh, one is in sophomore. My daughter is sophomore in college. Um, she actually is major in arts and uh, oh. and science, arts and science. She's an artist and also science. And my son is a freshman this year. Uh, he actually is a major in uh, sports management. Uh, awesome. How so do they go to college? Uh, they go to college. Uh, uh, my my daughter is in Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt oh. University. Yeah. My, son, my son's in Tampa, uh, University of Tampa, a private. Ah, that's good. Yeah. So it's interesting that they they both are uh, using AI to do uh, help doing their learning. So I would like to <laughs> very happy to share. They also joined the the Amazon uh, Global Race. Uh, so let me let me share my PowerPoint. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So. And then, uh, by the way, uh, you will see the PowerPoint later on uh, in the Google Doc. So, uh, don't worry. You, you don't need to. Uh, you can you can take some screenshot uh, or write down the notes. But uh, you see everything uh, uh, later on. So, number one, I uh, really again appreciate uh, the law give me the chance to serve. Uh, you can see that in my in my PowerPoint, everything is about uh, learning and serving, right? So everything we yeah. learn, you and I, you know, we need to give it out. So that's why the next people, the next generation, and other people can benefit from the law, yeah. Amen. So the key point here is that we learn, and then we lead. Read the team, right? You you learn a lot from uh Meng, um, Coach Meng, and Teacher Meng, and Teacher Elaine, and other speaker about how to be a leader. Yeah. Like uh, the seven habit, right? All you learn, you know. I know that you've yeah. been the training. So here I talk about the leadership as well, because I get a master degree in leadership, and I also uh, teach AI. So. You can call me uh, Coach Jackie or Jackie, you know, wherever you want. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm, uh, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, Leading AI is the company, uh, not the company, the organization uh, I, I founded. I work for a company called Oracle. So let me show you uh, my background. I've been with Oracle, uh, let me see, almost 15 years. Yeah, 15 years ago. Oracle. But before Oracle, I was at Sun, uh, Sun Microsystem. Oh. Sun Micro. Yes. So Sun and Oracle, I have about, uh, let me see, 2001, uh, 22 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 22 years. So I have 30, more than 30 years experience. And some of my students, they actually, including my daughter and my son, uh, you can see the right hand side, the middle one, the young boy, he's now even bigger. He's uh, my son. He got the first place in AI racing uh, competition. And my daughter is next to me on the right side. So the, the brew, uh, brew girl. So, and also um, I got a certification uh, from MIT for AI leadership, uh, actually last December, uh, they have wow. this. Uh, and I, I was certified by uh, um, Dr. BJ Falk at Stanford as well, uh, being a life coach. So I'm happy to uh, coach young people and even a career coach. So I, I build this leading AI to help more young generation, uh, even like some of them are single parents, uh, children uh, in a single parent family. And some of them are, you know, very, uh, they don't have the chance to get to know uh, the cutting edge technology, right? But we give them the chance to try. Yeah. And uh, I'm very happy to share here. Again, uh, any question that uh, please uh, wait until the end of the, uh, the Q&A section. So number one, uh, I would like to share the, the keywords that every time I share, I, I need to have a keywords. This time is the uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. Is that for, I know, the plan, the law said, right? For I know the plans I have for you, for all of you and for me, declare the law. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, right? Remember everything you hear today is not AI's danger. Of course, it's a new technology, right? Just like uh, any other new thing. But uh, the law said everything, uh, you know, they give it to us, you know, is to give us the hope and the future, right? Remember yeah. that all, yeah. all is important. If you have a fear, you cannot learn, right? If you fear like a baby, you just cannot walk, cannot talk. So there are three major things I want to talk today. Uh, number one is that uh, the topic is how to learn and lead, right? Being a leader in the AI uh, age era. But before we talk about how, actually more fundamental questions, why, right? I'll tell a story, a very fun story about NASA, right? The 
the the U.S. NASA, you know, they they launched their, uh, their rocket to the to the moon, you know, to outer space. And what is double loop learning? It's come from a professor in Harvard, right? Even you heard from like Elon Musk, he always talk about the first principle, right? Why we do what we do? Why he built the SpaceX? You know, why he built the the uh, Tesla, right? The, the reason behind the learning AI, how do we get it? And then what to learn, right? Right now, you probably heard about a lot of things about ChatGPT. Maybe you're using that already. You, you know, in your learning, with your friends, some of your parents already use it. But some of them have never heard about it, right? ChatGPT is very popular. And also another name is called Large Language Model, LLM, right? ChatGPT is only one of the AI model that exists. It's the pioneer. But there are many like from Facebook, like Meta and Google and Amazon and all the other companies, even Oracle. There's an LLM as well. So how do you learn this ChatGPT as a language, like Chinese, English, French, right? So it's not too hard to learn it. And then what important in the current uh, you're learning is that you're not only getting a degree in college, but how you get a skill, right, needed. The last one is how. The actual step-by-step, -step, what we teach the student in the, we call the top-down learning, is a very good uh, learning method. Uh, even Google you know, and, and uh, other uh, high-tech company, they use that to teach their employee. And teach their student. It's called top-down learning. It's different than the way uh, how we learn uh, in the school, but it's a natural learning uh, method to help you learn a better way, you know, easier. And then learn uh, leading by doing, right? And we teach the concept called project-based learning, that you learn how to use the project like you're playing a Lego, and then and then how to get to the new technology that you never learned before. And then we do some quick Q and A. Okay. Okay. Um, any one of you, I, I don't even know that until I do research many years ago. Do you know the word computer is not a computer machine? It's actually it exists in 1613 being a person like you and me. It's a person that who performed cal calculation. <laughs> That's right. So until the end of 19th century, like 1890 or 1880, uh, they, they changed the, the meaning of the computer into a calculating machine. And then in the 1940s, 1915, you know, the, the World War II, they used the digital computer means the computer, right? You know, this uh, used to be like, um, like human as a computer. And then they changed the concept to a calculating machine. And then in the uh, latest uh, technology, they changed the digital computing machine as a computer. So they still use the name human computer when in the 1950, 1960, when NASA they launched the Apollo project to land on the moon, uh, moon right? They use this, <laughs> they, they call the ladies, <laughs> those ladies, human computer. It's interesting, right? If you do not do research, you don't know that. There's even a movie for that. It's called Hidden Figure, right? Those three uh, ladies, they actually, they're the first generation uh, black woman as a mathematician to be hired by NASA. Because at that time, they need a lot of mathematicians to work for NASA because they don't have a real computer. They need to have a human computer to calculate the, the launching and orbit, right? How to orbit the moon, you know? And they need people. That's why NASA opened the door to hire more female mathematicians, you know, into the NASA. And those three, you know, ladies, they lead the way. And also, you know what? Later on, they introduced another thing called IBM mainframe. Some of you may heard about that. The mainframe they introduced in 1960. And then this one of the ladies is the manager. She, she is very uh, open-minded. She says that this hardware, the computer, IBM mainframe computer, will be the next generation, you know, very powerful tool to help them do the job. So she decided to ask her team to learn the technique. So many other managers, they say, oh, this is so, so advanced. We don't need that. We are mathematicians. We can hand calculate it. But then you know what? After the mainframe do the job, there's such faster, powerful machine. They replace a lot of jobs at NASA. Hundreds of people were let go because they don't meet that many people anymore. But the people who learn the skill with their mathematician in the skill set, they, they stay. So think about that for AI as well. You know, if you learn the skill, right, you'll be the person that keep the job and move forward in the future. So that's why, you know, in, in what I uh, teach today, I really emphasize the reason why you want to do AI or learn AI and lead in a, your generation. Uh, Simon Sinek is a very famous leadership uh, expert. He talked about uh, a tech talk. You can uh, search that in uh, YouTube. It's called Start With Why, right? It's called a golden circle. Actually, when we are thinking, you and I, right? 
uh, many of time we think what to do and and how to do it, right? But the actual core reason, just like Elon Musk said, the first principle is that why you want to do learning using AI, using the new technology, why you want to use it. Think about the deep concept. When I learn leadership, actually the same concept come from a Harvard professor, uh, Chris, right? He had this concept called double loop learning. A regular student or even an adult like me and you, uh, some of you are you know young adult, right? Some of you are young student. We just do, uh, we have a thinking like what one, what one to do today, want to make it better, it's called single loop learning. So we have a strategy, we have a technique, right? How to do things better, faster, easier, and then we get a result and review every every couple of months, every year, right? Call three and new re review. But Professor Chris said, Agris, he said, it's actually deeper thinking you should embed in your learning instead. The second loop, double loop learning is go back to the original assumption why you want to use that technology? That's why Elon Musk, when he reinvented the EV car, electric car, he did not copy the car for the gas car. He rethinked everything from the first principle, right? Why you want to build a car? He's saying that it should be fast, beautiful, easy to use, easy to charge. So he's not using the traditional way of thinking how to build a car, right? He's using the first principle. That's how you should, I should do the same way, right? When we learn something new, think about the original reason why you want to do that. Very important. So here is the quiz. If you have two choice, A and B, you can pay seven and nine to get iPhone 15, the latest one, or you buy one from Costco, it's 75 inch TV. When I bought a TV like uh, 15, 20 years ago, it's a $3,000 for 40 inch, right? It's now $700, which one you choose? I asked my daughter, she said, I choose A. Of course, of course I choose iPhone. <laughs> Why I want a 75 inch TV? When I was in my age, right, 10 years ago, I want a TV. I want a big TV in my living room, right? <laughs> but why they don't want a TV now? Because iPhone is better. It's a mobile smart device. It's a general purpose device I can use, you can use all the time, right? Why you want to get a TV and, you know, go hang out with your friends, right? You can use an iPhone, search, browsing, do apps, you know, Apple Pay, you know, uh, e-commerce, you know, listen to music, everything. It's a general purpose. It's a smart it's a mobile device, right? Think about that and we'll talk about that later. So the reason for that is that you choose a mobile uh, smart device, general purpose, you can use all the time, right? Hopefully you choose the same thing, but some of the older generation will choose a big TV. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's the agenda. So we talk about why we learn AI and why we use that to lead our learning, right? Now, what to learn, right? So ChatGPT is very uh, fundamental, changing the way how we learn and how we talk to each other, how we use the do business. So, but again, it's just uh, it's, it's a general called large language model (LLM), right? You think about ChatGPT is one of the large language model. Think about using that as a new language. Don't think it's about too high tech and very too futuristic. It's just a language. Uh, I'll talk about that, and then how you gain not only a degree in college in the future, but also the skill set you want to learn. So how many of you can talk French? I cannot, right? I just went to French <laughs> in the summer. I just cannot understand. I use I have to use Google Translate or you know translate the letter in the restaurant and talk to the people. And when you go to French, you need to either learn French or use a translator. And some of you I know you you may know Chinese, right? Or you know uh, English and Chinese. You know ni hao in Chinese means hello in English, right? And some of you may be a musician, right? You know how to you know uh, play piano. Uh, uh, play uh, la violin things like that but why you know how to play piano or violin because you know the notes you have that in the mindset it's the rules and symbols that you can translate in your mind to understand it and then play it out right use it right same concept for for machine learning so when you don't know ai and don't know chat gpt it's like a stranger a, a new thing that you never use it but when you translate it as some new language or a, a way you understand music right? And then it becomes easier, right? Use that concept. AI is just another language. You communicate with the powerful, um, you know, um, intelligent behind the behind cloud, right? Or something that in the internet. So think about that. And then you, when you learn the notes, how to talk to the AI and how to use the language, you'll be fine. Okay. So uh, again, la large language model is that, you know, uh, and there are many articles talk about ChatGPT, why it's so powerful. You can Google that. I won't talk about the detail. You can always Google, but always remember prompt engineering. This is the key word. When you do Google, search ChatGPT prompt. Prompt is that means that how you ask the AI, 
how you discuss with the AI, right? Prom, just like you, you're asking a question. Prom engineering is that there's a better way how you talk to the AI, not the regular way. Oh, oh, AI, can you do for me anything? They won't give you an answer you want to do, but ask very specific question in a way that they can understand better. They'll generate a much better answer for you. So use that as a, as a way how you learn. Uh, I won't talk into detail, but this is the new language, remember. So I'll talk about how you use that every day, okay? Again, you know, AI is here today and everywhere. So if you uh, want to go to a good school like Harvard, when, if, even when you get into Harvard, right, you probably know that the Harvard Computer Science class called CS50, they have a new uh, TA, teaching assistant, teacher. It's called ChatGPT. <laughs> Their professor decided to use ChatGPT as a teaching assistant for every student in the class. If you don't know how to talk to AI, I'm sorry, you may not get any benefit help from the TA, right? Because they no more, you know, assistant, human assistant, like a human computer, you can talk to AI, you know. It's, it's fun. Don't worry, it's fun. Maybe some of you already use it. And then if you're doing a job, you know, if you're a young adult, right? Uh, Microsoft Azure, right? They actually part of uh, uh, open AI. You can do the business using OpenAI, you know, uh, in Azure, the Microsoft Cloud. And more important, even Google, Gmail, right? Even Office that you use every day, they have the embedded generative AI already. <laughs> when you ask, writing an email, you can ask Gmail to write some, uh, you know, outline for you. Just uh, write an email to uh, like uh, Professor Lee, right? Or, you know, uh, Coach Ming, right? I want to talk about ask the question about how to be a better student or learn better. And then you keep the big main idea, they'll write the detail for you and then you can modify and send it out. Make you more easy to do things you know, in a business or learning. And uh, I'll give you a, a highlight about what ChatGPT can do, right? Don't be surprised if you're in high school now. So they probably overpass you in the testing score in AP uh, calculus, AP environment science, GRE, you know, even a doctor, you know, lawyer uh, test. They, they out, outperform like 80% or 90% human, right? Don't be surprised that they're, they're smart. It's okay. But we are human. We, we we have an image of God. So don't worry. I'll talk about that, why we are still better than a robot or AI. But don't be surprised that the intelligence of the robot is already very advanced. You can use that to help your learning. Uh, don't be you know uh, surprised that they're so smart. Uh, but you will be the person like what we talk about, hidden figure, right? You know how to use next generation to do your job better, do your learning better. And then even that your parent may already know, they may not, not know that, you tell them. You can use a, a AI assistant tutor, right? You don't need to hire a human tutor. Uh, Khan Academy is a nonprofit organization, it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, popular in the world. Um, uh, they, they build this called um, uh, Khan Mingle. I subscribe to that. Uh, I subscribe to the, the AI tutor. I can learn history, right? I can talk to, uh, I said Newton and asked him about how he discovered the the the, the, the why the why the uh, gravity right why the apple dropped to the ground why he got the insight and in, uh, inspire and find the theory of the uh, the this, the theory and then I can talk to Einstein I can talk to you know George Washington right I can talk to the historical uh, figure right so there are a lot of things you can learn and learn math learn uh, learn music learn how to write essay and one more thing is that actually. When you go to out for a job, you know, they actually uh, predict that uh, in the next generation, there are many jobs will be replaced. The whole global 300 million full-time jobs will be replaced by AI, either fully by AI or by the uh, people using AI to do the job. So don't be surprised when you graduate in college, like uh, four years later, or you, you're in high school, when you graduate from high school, go to college, there are many new class will coming out for you to learn AI and learn how to use AI to do your job. Again, so when I pause here, I want to emphasize again, be don't be surprised and have calm and peace in your heart because the law said he want to prosper you and not harm to you. Plan to give you hope in the future. The reason you're here today is that because we've been through that uh, a couple of years ago, you know, uh, my own uh, transformation, I learned AI myself and I teach my uh, students and my coaches and parents. So, so don't worry, we're here to help. So, so we have uh, the laws leading, we're fine, right? But one uh, spread the, the news is that, uh, don't worry, you, AI is another new technology, just like the IBM mainframe, it's a breakthrough, but you can use it, uh, no worry.
So before you know, you all want to go to a good college, right? The Ivy League or you know, very famous school, you know, or even get a good job after graduation from college. That's true. That's still true. But right now, the knowledge is not the only thing you want to do. And even a degree in college. So many people graduate from a uh, good university every every year, but they may not get a good job or they may not get into industry. And it's changing so fast. So before we are learning so many on knowledge only, right? But right now you should be focusing not only knowledge, because knowledge memorization is still important, but because AI knows so many things, they may memory memorize for you. You can use that to write an email, write a proposal, but you need to be creative. So continue running, learning is the is the key. So you need to learn not only how to memorize, but also explore, right? Asking questions, like prompt engineering, right? How to ask the right question to the AI to help you do the better job. And by the way, how to communicate not only to human, right? To your team, to your uh, your teacher, professor, uh, your teammate, even to the AI, right? How to communicate. Number three is very important, hands-on, right? All the skill set in your mind doesn't change anything. So teacher Elaine always tell you that from uh, from your head to your habit to your head, right? Live out your belief. Live out what you learn. So lead the way by doing, right? And last one is so also important. Manage your emotion, right? EQ is so important. So you, you can see that uh, Coach Elaine, you know, um, Coach Ming will teach you a lot of skill set to, to how to manage your time, how to manage your habit, how to manage your own emotion, right? When you're calm, you can do a lot of things faster, easier. So those are the human skill that you want to have, right? Not only the skill that you can have a good GPA, that's still important, but AI can do a lot of job right now. And uh, I was talking to um, Coach Ming uh, earlier that a lot of job that you may not know today will appear a couple of years later. These 15 jobs, they did not exist in 15 years ago. So like the AI related job, no such thing. Even the Lyft Uber driver, there's no such thing like Uber Lyft driver. It's just a new job coming out. And like the, the, the content moderator, right? The, the, the social media, you know, things like the YouTuber, those jobs, they don't, did not exist. And like even the uh, telemedicine physician, I was in LA, you know, uh, I'm in Florida right now with my kids. I was in LA, uh, go to a, a family doctor and there's no doctor in the office. It's only an iPad. <laughs> The, doc, the doctor talked to me in the screen in the iPad. And then the nurse uh, take me the blood, uh, the blood test and then uh, show me, I have a throat infection. And then he showed me the, uh, the throat uh, picture, sent it to the doctor remotely. I don't know where's the doctor. <laughs> I see him and buy. I never see the doctor physically. So those jobs exist right now. Even a cloud architect, right? I'm a uh, Oracle cloud architect. There's no such thing 15 years ago. A data scientist, right? It's very popular. So think about the thing you learned today. It will be very exciting in the future, right? You're not only a student. Student only learn when you're in classroom. But lifetime learner, you learn everywhere. Even like Saturday, right? It's so uh, such a blessing that you can come on Saturday, use your uh, weekend time to learn. You are learn you are a learner, you're a lifetime learner, right? No matter where you go, even you graduate from college, even you're working, you retire, you still can learn, right? You become a learner, not only learning in a, in a classroom. And more exciting, you know, uh, right now there are many colleges Good colleges, they do this AI, uh, AI degree and uh, program. Uh, the top 20, you can do Google in uh, like US News, right? The top 20 U uh, US AI program, you know, number one is uh, uh, CMU, Carnegie Mellon, the top one. Uh, even the Google, uh, Google VB, they, they teach in uh, CMU. And number two is MIT. Number three is Stanford. A lot of other schools as well. Like UC San Diego, UCLA, you know, uh, a lot of other schools as well. So you have a chance to learn more, you know, in, in college. And more importantly, in, in your street, right, in the city, Amazon have this self-driving uh, robot, you know, robot car, right? No, there's no, there's no, uh, nobody driving there, it, even Google, Waymo. They start a program in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and then they start in uh, San Francisco, LA now, and Las Vegas. And maybe uh, later, I think they're going to Texas. So it's already in our life. So don't be surprised that you see that every day. More important, even you're doing a banking, right? Doing finance, that's so mission critical. A lot of things to do there. You know, they're using the JP Morgan Chase. They invest $12 billion into their own infrastructure for the AI infrastructure. Okay. The reason I talk about so many about why we learn and what to learn is down to the earth right now is how to learn, right? So everything you know today is that uh, you may know more than me, right? Uh, in your area, in your study area, but 
how to make your learning faster and easier and fit to your future goal, right? Remember, uh, uh, teacher Yiling always saying that put the end uh, end goal in 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 front of you, right? Think about the end goal when you do the thing. Start from uh, with the end in mind. So top down learning is the way how we teach our student in high school and college when we do the AI and leadership training. It's a different way of uh, learning. And also leading by doing project-based learning is another way. So let me do it quickly. And then you can ask some questions. So I learned this from Google uh, when I was studying leadership, right? I, I noticed that um, it's interesting when the professor teaching leadership, they're not only teaching the, the bottom-up learning, right? Bottom-up means that it's not bad, it's good. Uh, you learn the theory, just like you and I learned from uh, like elementary school, middle school, high school, fundamental, all the way up to college and master and PhD. And then learning and apply that to the real world, the theory, and then get the explicit knowledge, which is still good. But another way is called top-down learning. I never, I never actually used that until I do the master in leadership is that they start from idea in imagination. I was thinking, what? I go with idea? So what, I don't learn the fundamental? Yeah, I still learn it. You still keep the uh, bottom-up learning, but on the other side, there's another side of the brain. You can start from imagination. For example, you, you draw something like the artist drawing, right? Even playing a Lego, I'll show that later, that you have a, the picture in mind. What's the end product? And then you do some research. More importantly, you do a try and error. You play with these tools, you try and error compared to the angle image. And then if it's not working, go down and try again. And finally, is you get the tested knowledge and in, intuition. It's inspiration in your heart. Is that it's more than a theory, uh, a very rigid in rules. It's a, a living image and picture in your mind that what's the end product looks like. I'll show that later. The top-down learning is very good to inspire you to do a um, uh creation of being a creative thinker. So they teach that only in the master or you know PhD program. I happen to use that in for my high school and the college student. I use the top-down learning that Google and many universities use for master program and use it and it's working. So I show you why. They still use the bottom-up learning method. But when we teach, we use we use the top-down learning so they can uh compromise uh a complement your current learning method, right? I'll show you why. Another way is called project-based learning. You may think it's a new concept. No, it's not new. If you play Lego or something like uh, that before, you know that project-based learning is means that you learn by playing something with your friends or your teacher or by yourself. Lego, my, my both kids, they learn uh, Lego when they're young, right? Uh, they learn by playing. They have an angle and picture, right? If, for example, I want to build a vehicle, I want to build a small house. They see the picture and then the parent or get a caregiver give them the tools and guide them through the building process. They learn in the end goal first and then step by step. And they made some error. They have to destroy everything and put it back and try and error. And then they also can be so creative to create something they like, right? You know what? When I was in the uh, master program, they do it for adult. I'm so surprised. They do this Lego project called Lego Series Play. They use that for leadership training. The reason for that is that adult, we have so many existing concepts in our mind. We don't learn something new. They try, try to break down the learning barrier to give you a lot of Lego pieces. And then someone is going to lead the process, not a, not a manager, but leading the initiate the, the discussion and then build something together as a team. They actually, the storytelling, the initiating, you know, the cooperation, make the learning much, much fun and more faster. And this, this very popular, you know, uh, class, in the US right now, it's called uh, Lego Series Play. They even the magazine, you know, they, they have every year the, the leadership conference, they talk about this play for adults. It's a project-based learning. So don't think Lego is only for young children, okay? Another thing for project-based learning, you probably learn that every time or you know that already. It's like learning how to bike, right? Something you, you learn or I learn. You, you don't learn it yet, try it out, right? Your parent or your caregiver give you a try, right? put a helmet, be safe. And then you try to, you know, fall down and get up and try and error, right? And balance. The more important thing is, number one, you know, you have a goal, right? You have an end goal, a bright future, right? Like the, <laughs> Jeremiah 29, 11. You, you, you're not worried. You don't have fear inside. You, you're safe. Your parent handle, you know, put you in a safe spot. And then you try. And then later on, you, you skills much better and faster. And then you enjoy. The younger kids even being a pioneer. So fun, right? I use this concept for the, the AI training uh, as well. 
I really want to give you the idea like AI is not a mystery, right? It's something they developed uh, many years ago, like in the 19, uh, 1950, 1960. So right now is the time to use it in our daily life, not only in uh, racing, but also in banking, in e-commerce, in your learning, like AI tutor. Like even you, you can become an expert in AI and then do that to help your peer, help your even help your parents and grandparents do better job. So let's let's talk about that. What and ChatGPT is actually an AI learn itself. You'd be surprised why AI you need to learn. Yes, that's how they learn. They have billions of uh, parameters inside a model. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligent model exists in the cloud. They use the um the Amazon cloud for training the Amazon data center but the algorithm is developed by OpenAI. And also when they have the first model, the first uh, algorithm, they keep learning. Means that they have the initial language model that already get changed using all the internet data, all the pictures and dialogues and text article in the internet. They grab the data and put in the learning model. When they learn it, they give it to human for feedback. They call reinforcement learning with human feedback. RL, reinforcement learning, HF, human feedback. The way how they learn, why they become so smart and talk to the human so naturally, like human being talk to you, right? If you use ChatGPT, you feel that it's, it has a very high intelligence as it's a human, but it's not, it's just a robot. It can get the feedback to, uh, they hire a lot of uh, human uh, feedback uh, uh, tester. When the uh, ChatGPT answer the question, the human will give a reward saying that, for example, there's three answers, A, B, and C. The human will say, oh, B is the, the best answer if I'm the person answering the question. So ChatGPT will learn that, oh, I give answer A, B, and C. Uh, logically, A is a better choice, but the human saying B is the natural answer to that question. Then the machine learn better. So next time you get training again, they, they produce another set of questions and they send to the human tester. The human say uh, A, B, C, and they also give the reward score. So the machine learn by interacting with human, that's why it becomes smarter and smarter. That's how you and I should get feedback as well, right? But let's put it in mind that reinforcement learning is the way how leading uh, uh, the uh, AI and also ChatGPT learn. Now back to our game. I want to talk about a little bit about a game in uh, like five to 10 minutes. So we can know uh, how we teach our uh, college student and young, uh, young adults and uh, uh, high school student how to learn AI and ChatGPT. We put them in the game. It's not by me. It's the uh, Amazon is a big uh, e-commerce and cloud uh, provider, a uh, huge company. They they put this racing game. Uh, it's called self-driving uh, deep racer. It can you know help you learn how to change your model, like the Google Waymo and the Amazon Zeus, or you know the Cruise, the GM Cruise, or even you know uh, uh, Mercedes and Tesla. Their car can self-drive. Uh, this game is originally for for IT professional. But we discovered that about four or five years, four years ago, we used that to change the uh, the younger generation. What they do is that Amazon built this small car on the right hand side. You can see that it's an actual car. It's one out of eighteen. They string the car like uh, one out of eighteen from the the width, the height, and the the length. One out of eighteen. So they string a big car into a small car. Scale all the way scale. They have the Intel CPU inside. They have the uh, Ubuntu Linux system inside. They have the Wi Fi. They have the stereo camera. They even have a LiDAR, the laser <laughs> LiDAR, uh, 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 LiDAR radar inside. They can sense outside. And this algorithm is an open source, uh, open source by Amazon. You can use the algorithm to train the AI robot. The car can drive by itself. And then I will put this uh, video uh, quickly so you can actually feel uh, how they, they, it's been five years already. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Marine, and I'm excited to bring you the next evolution in racing. The world's first global autonomous racing league, AWS Deep Racer. Since launch, over 320,000 developers from more than 150 countries have participated. And this year, the Deep Racer League is more accessible than ever before. With the expanded student league, high school and college students worldwide can compete for even more prizes and glory. Students can get rolling with just a few clicks, no credit card required. Compete online in monthly virtual circuit races against developers in your country and region for a chance to win bragging rights, swag, and travel prizes. 
or experience a deep racer event in person at one of a dozen AWS summits to qualify for a trip to compete in the championship on a real track. Discover how you can accelerate your machine learning journey at deepracerleague.com. Yeah, this is very exciting uh, uh, league. Like, it's a global league you can do online. So you don't have to... Uh, well, actually, I go to like the, the new summit and the Toronto and uh, Europe. But uh, if you're nearby, you know, there are many uh, local summits uh, they can race. But also, every month, uh, they can they can attend the, uh, the race online. And you may be thinking, it's so hard, because how can I learn deep racer? Yes, you're right. If you do the bottom-up learning, you can see how many years you need to build up your knowledge to learn that. More than 12 years. You learn the lead calculus, linear algebra, you know, computer science, fundamental, OS, machine learning, Python. This is okay. Are you okay? You say, I, I, I want to learn. But 12 years later, you may be old, right? But what we do here is that we do top-down learning. Remember, you can still do this bottom-up in your college, high school. It's fine. We do top-down. We'll give you the game, right? Give you the game first. Give you a deep racer game. We'll help you do hands-on, like a Lego, right? You do try and error. We have a coach, assistant coach, help you guide you through the way and get into the race the next week, right? So we train you up in the first week. Even the next week, you can start racing. And we have four-week training program. That's why, you know, it's an intensive training. Uh, we accept the high school uh, as a, a student. And we also accept the, uh, if you're in college, you want to be a helper, volunteer helper, we can uh, teach you before the class start. And then you can help in the training. So this exciting opportunity that uh, we developed up using the top-down learning method, you still can learn in your college and maybe get to the uh, university for a AI uh, data science degree. But at the same time, you can you can experience this like playing a Lego, right? Do this, you know, use this top-down learning, help you understand the AI concept, what ChatGPT do for reinforcement learning, and then get the concept and actually know it better than other people. And the lead is that they have a 3D simulator, and then there's a, a every year they have this global lead, and also we do can do community lead, right? So we do this online uh, race ourselves for our student, and also you can do that with other colleges and other country, right, online. And they give a lot of prices. The, the top number four, uh, top number five in every uh, uh, area, like North America, we get $400 gift card. I have like five students already get it. And then the top 10% of the, the North America or Europe or Asia Pacific or uh, Greater China, they get $50 gift card from Amazon. And then the number one in that region, uh, I have three people in my team already get into Vegas. They give you a round trip ticket for any city, like Hong Kong, like Europe, to Las Vegas, end of the uh, November, and then they pay for the hotel and the, and the trip and the meal. And then this is the uh, the flyer. If you're interested, uh, I'll send it out. Probably you know that already. And then we have many coaches, including myself, uh, and then uh, Dr. Dennis. Uh, he, he worked for Amazon. And then uh, Coach Danny, he's a senior Google engineer. Uh, both of us, uh, all of us have the uh, AI experience and also the uh, cloud computing and uh, programming uh, knowledge. So we have other coaches as well, want to help you and get you through this process of learning. And then also I want to give a bigger concept that machine learning is only part of this AI concept. AI means that use artificial intelligence in your home, in your job, in your transportation, in your shopping, in your finance. But machine learning is a, a very specific algorithm that help you learn how the chat GPT, how the self-driving can do the job, right? But when you learn machine learning, you know the bigger picture. Because IoT and other things will be in the AI concept. And then in the machine learning, there are supervised learning, non-supervised and uh, reinforcement learning. I just want to keep it a big concept. So I won't talk about the detail. If you happen to join the class, we'll talk about more detail there. And then those three concepts is that uh, one of them, the supervised learning you need, need to label the thing. For example, you see a stop sign, you label that stop sign. The next time the car see a stop sign or traffic light, they know that it's a stop sign. That's called labeling. Number two is uh, unsupervised learning. They, they get a bunch of data. They just sort out the data and then learn by itself. Reinforcement learning is that they, they know the, the algorithm. They see something in front of them and then like that the dog and the, the cat learn how to interact with a human, right? or like a car, how they see the uh, obstacle and try to avoid it. So that's how, you know, I know elder, uh, elder uh, Elaine, uh, her daughter had a very, very good dog, right? When 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 she changed the dog, right? And then it's the same thing, right? When you change the animal, you give a positive reward to a dog. So the dog will do the job, you know, as you want 
<laughs> want them to do. And then if they do the wrong thing, don't give the reward. And then end up <laughs> as a lion. <laughs> it's just kidding. Yeah. But end up you chain a dog that very uh, good at doing the thing they want to do. That's called reinforcement learning in the animal world, in the machine world, or in our self-learning. I actually learned that you know, by doing this myself. I learned the reinforcement learning and I become more exciting about learning AI. You see that when I teach students, I get a good reward from my students. They learn better. I'm more exciting because I want to teach more and then I'm more happy. So you can do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, this is the car that uh, you see, but I won't talk about detail. It's uh, actually has an Intel CPU. It's a stereo camera, 360 degree, you know, scanning LiDAR, very advanced technology built in the car. You don't need to buy the car. Uh, if you win, you know, you can get one of the car, right? $400 can give you one car. You can win one car. So, or you can use that for buy your uh, gift. I have a student at only 10th grade. He buy the, the gift uh, for his younger brother for his birthday gift. <laughs> use the $400. So, it's a very exciting. It's an open source a, a robotic OS and use the Ubuntu inside. And uh, I just want to show you our team. We have a team uh, across the US and North America in Canada, Hawaii, and, um, and Florida. And right now, we're starting a new class, a uh, training class. So, we also give out some uh, hoodies and in the chaining and we give out the, the winner, you know, for the for the uh, community race. Uh, that's how the winner in the last season, right? So we do the championship race. We use the check, official check from Amazon and they would do our internal race and then they can go out to race with other people uh, in the whole world. And that's, uh, some of my students go to Las, Las Vegas last year with me. And this year we have three people going together. Uh, this uh, Elena, uh, you know, even girl can learn AI well. You know, Elena is study a freshman in uh, in China, and they should go to Las Vegas this year with Nathan and myself. Nathan got it uh, already last year, and then uh, I'll go there as well this year. And we also uh, partner with local churches and communities, right? We can do local race, and then uh, if you happen to have someone interested, so let me know and let uh, Coach uh, Coach Ming and Coach Yiling know. So we're happy to share more. And then um, help them to build a team, and then we can do online a chain the trainer, and then they can start the event by themselves. Okay, uh, I want to uh, keep quickly uh, and then do a quick Q and A. So this is a vision statement for the training. We really want to build a team to honor God and love each other by training young leader like you, right, to use AI for what? For helping other people and helping yourself, right? So the mission statement is that we want to help you learn and grow. Right in Christ, and then apply the thing you learn and serve other people. So uh, it's interesting, you know, um, authentic leadership made it from a Harvard professor, uh, Bill George, is that it's about empowering others on their journey. So this trip is transformation from I, right, me only, right, and to we, right, we can do it together. So that's how we use the GPS model. We will help you to set your own learning goal and then have a, a partnership with you, right, help you build a, a knowledge and build a communication, the language, learn language, talk to AI, and then you get a small win, right? Every time you get a small uh, feedback and just like a, a, a learning process and then you get better and better. Okay. Again, so now the question. <laughs> so remember the iPhone and the TV, right? So do you want to invest on a big TV or you want to invest yourself uh, to learn more AI, you know, either online or through some training? It's your choice. Uh, now is your generation. Uh, we're happy, uh, including uh, Coach Ming and others. We're here to help. Yeah. Okay. Remember, always choose something you can use a general purpose, use more all the time, and mobile and smart. Right. So TV is still good. Yeah. But uh, learn something, and then you'll be happy in the next ten years or fifteen years. That's our uh, key method. Uh, so we uh, we use the teamwork, and then we want to build a core value and help each other. Okay. I stop here. Well, thank you for how jacket. It's just uh, amazing. It really <laughs> something. Oh, anyway, I just want to share them, uh, Coach Ming. If they want yeah. to uh, want to do uh, enrollment, they can scan or you know take a picture and then yeah. The, yeah. Please, I'll take the screenshot on this now, and this is the uh, prior one of the PowerPoint going to change your life. Okay, it's very important to me. Change my life because uh, even at seventy two years old. I'm intrigued by this now. I think, you look uh, young, Coach Ming. You look young. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So it give me the whole brand new. Uh, let me give you my own example. I think this is how God helped me. God want me to write a book, you know, on the spiritual anatomy about the, you know, the Bible. 
But then I, I'm trying to find the stamp to help me collect the, do the research. But lately, the God moved my heart and said, why don't you use AI, chat GPT, to be your staff? And pray the Lord, and then Jackie here, right? Give me the first session on AI. So I think this is how God made the, everything happen. Okay. It's just amazing. I already committed myself to learn AI. Then I don't think I need any staff. I just do the, all the research work through the chat GPT. Okay. And I think the code Jackie just give me the guidance how to start it. We'll now get to we, more, coach me. We can talk more about it. I'm happy oh, to help. Yeah. I love to talk to you about my book and how to do all the research. Because yeah. I think this book can change so many people's lives. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you will have a question. So go ahead, type on the chat room, and then the coach Jack is going to answer you one by one. Yeah, oh, I'll put my email there. You can email me uh, later on, ask.leadingai.gmail.com. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm happy to ask, answer any question. Yeah. Any question, put in the chat room. Yeah. Okay. Or even you don't know what to ask. You can you can think about I don't know what to ask. That's also a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, this is a new language. I don't know AI either. Uh, many years ago, I started to learn. Uh, it's a learning journey. It's fun. Don't be afraid. Yeah. What if you don't know your GPA? What does that mean? Oh, in the enrollment app application, uh, we we want them to put their GPA. You should have that in your score uh, end of the school uh, year. It's your, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, good yeah. estimation be good enough. Yeah. Yeah. We trust you. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. You put your estimate. Yeah. This is again, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we we're not asking you to replace the AI with everything you learned today. No, it's just another way you can think about learning. It's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a uh, grade 10, yeah, put a uh, grade nine final mark. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, we see so many interests yet. You wouldn't feel sorry about it. Just join the training camp. I'm going to change your life. Yeah, I'll tell you a small story. When I was in high school, my dad is a professor in uh, in China. He went to Hong Kong and bought Apple II computer. That changed my life. Coach Ming, it's totally changed my life. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the talk you give to all the youth today and uh, it's going to change people's life. And I'm going to played the video in the, our church also for the youth group, yeah. Yes, and see, so Daniel was asking a good question. How can we use AI to express the gospel? That's how we do here. We use the training camp. It's an open open space to invite the new friends. They're not in church yet. They come here to see that as a Christian or someone in the church, so fun learning and sharing to others. They feel inspired. Oh, I can, I, I like this Christian, right? They want to share to other people with the new technology. They are, they are good friends and good leaders. I want to be like them. The thing I learned leadership is that I want to like the professor teach me. I like the way how they share and how they uh, share, the, share the way how they learn. I like them. They like, I like them as a person first and then like the gospel they share to me. Yeah. Good question. So many uh, chats. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. uh, 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 you can ask questions. Is this online? Yeah, it's online. If you scan the, um, uh, again, I want to give you the, you can scan the, uh, the this code. Or you can, you know, uh, I'll put this application code here. You can, you can apply. I'll put the full screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me, let me copy this one and I put it in the chat so they can see that. It's just so amazing, so amazing. Only brand new to me. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. It's back to my high school age uh, when I first know the Apple too. At that time, it's very few people know Apple. You know, in uh, yeah. in in China, but only in Hong Kong is they're open to to other outside, right? I'm what, so. What did your dad? What What did your dad do at that time? Uh, he's a double year professor. Ah, oh, no wonder. So you yeah. had to be from the right environment. He actually changed. He, he graduated from physics. He's uh, in the physics department. He oh, actually changed okay. to a WE professor. And oh, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People major in physics are, are super smart people. Yeah. It's they hard to learn anything. anything. It's hard to learn. <laughs> they can do anything. Yeah. When, whoever. That's why I love to hire the 
major in physics. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, really, again, uh, 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 teach, teacher Elaine inspired me to do more uh, youth training. I was still in a uh, master program before I graduate. Uh, I went to San Diego to attend a conference uh, with uh, uh, teacher Elaine. So I was inspired. I bring Excellent. my student in Amazon to, to see her. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. So the I think teacher Elaine, me will talk to Coach Jacket more about the how he can benefit our youth program in the future. Okay. I think this is amazing. It's so hard to find a brother with so much passion to help use on the high technology. A lot of times people think, you know, Bible, spiritual things have nothing to do with the modern world. It's a lot to do with the modern world. Okay? Everything comes from God. So we just have to take advantage of the resource applied to us by God yeah. to move on with the God's kingdom. Okay? It's very important. Oh, if someone asked that, can I change the people in China? Uh, I think I can, but I need to know your contact. Uh, first, please email me, uh, ask.leadingai at gmail.com. So, because we cannot do that, uh, you know, a lot, but we want to choose the people who want to, uh, you know, share to other chain to chain. But uh, please email me first. Uh, I'll try to talk to you and understand the, the requirement. But right now, um, uh, for China, and uh, we actually changed uh, change so many people in Taiwan already. Uh, the, the student I changed, he's a master degree uh, you know, student. He already changed uh, three universities, Taiwan Dashi, Tai Da, Taiwan Dashi, oh. and uh, Taiwan Kaji Dashi. She actually started a program to change three, three college students. I changed her first, and then she started training other uh, in, in how three. Long does, how long does it take you to train a coach? Um, to training, actually, uh, uh, if anyone like Coach Ming, you want to join, you know, you can listen to our training, and then this the four weeks, and then we, we have a separate training for adult, and then they become a, a seat, uh, train the trainer, yeah, become the next coach. Okay, yeah. good. I know somebody here like to be the train coach. And yeah, yeah. He had a lot of passion to serve the youth. Also, I'll get them connected to you. Yeah. Yeah, Canada is okay. We have student uh, in uh, Toronto. Uh, he, uh, he actually just go to college. He's inspired. He'll do two major. One is business. One is computer science. So his name is Sean. He's a uh, very. Uh, he actually uh, built a group in his uh, university, about two three hundred people in the in the AI group. Yeah. So. Well, this AI is so amazing. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you use ChatGPT, you probably know the power. You know, you can write a lot. Oh of yeah, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I think the. My first chapter research will come from a chat GPT now. Yeah. Yeah, but again, use the AI tool to help you do the study. Don't copy and paste, just like Google, right? When you Google it, don't copy and paste because you learn nothing in your brain. But when That's you right. use the That's content right. and recreate the content, then it's beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, you have a lot of questions. Good student here. I like the people, student ask questions. Means that you are you're exciting. Yeah. Oh, someone asked, is a recording, right? Uh, Coach Ming, there's a recording. Yeah, we have a recorded, and the uh, teacher Yan go to send you the yeah YouTube link and also send you the Google link. Okay. Our wife, yeah, our YOC, they always recorded every session. So whoever wants to review it to make up their attendance, they can do it. Oh, someone asked, race is online or in person? Race is online now. But uh, uh, next year, they'll have more in-person race uh, in like New York City, DC, uh, like LA, uh, even like Chicago or other country. But this year they finished all the in-person race, even one in Taipei. I went to the Taipei uh, summit, but uh, most of the race is online. Yeah, it's free to join. But if you join okay. without training, you probably won't success. You won't get the gift card. Because <laughs> all the other people, they're IT professional. They're very uh, competitive. But uh, we train our students to beat them. Yeah. So, so like, let you go to the Las Vegas. It's still the virtual racing there. It's not no, real it's racing. an actual race. Las Vegas it's actual one, real racing. Yeah. Oh. We have uh, top 50 in the world. 50 people in the world. It's awesome. amazing. They okay. pay you for the, the trip, round trip ticket. I got it already. My student in, in China, they pay her and her uh, parent awesome. <laughs> two people round trip to, to Vegas and the two uh the two people hotel five ho five night hotel. Last year we stayed in uh, Bellagio in, in Las Vegas. Okay. How long is the racetrack? 
That's Ray Chat. Yeah, they they have the chat and and we oh, actually the chat in our in in LA in Toronto in in Florida. Oh, okay. One, uh, we are actually planning to ship a race chat from here to Texas, in San Antonio. Uh, okay. I coach there, uh, Professor Chen. You know, they will do some uh, in person race there, so uh, the church will help. So we we'll ship the chat and the car to them. Yeah. How long is the track? The track is just uh uh, uh something like uh, let me show you. It's not not too big. It's just uh, it's like this. It's laying on the on the on the floor, so. It won't be. It's not too big. Oh, okay. So, so whoever wins, uh, whoever get there first. Yeah, whoever get to the end first. Uh, let me show you the website. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is our. Yeah, it's very really interesting because I I learned that myself. You know, just like here, this is Hawaii. Uh, in Hawaii is a. Uh, like this, it just oh, hard. it just like, that's called a chat. It's not not hard. Those are the coaches and the young, uh, the the high school kids. Yeah. Oh, this is all the package. Then yeah. the do they have to download the software into the car or it's just remote? No, it's remote. It's in the cloud, in the Amazon cloud. It's online, but you they oh. use the browser. Yeah. Okay, so the Wi-Fi coming to get to your car all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I even put that in my garage. This is my garage test. <laughs> so, oh, awesome, awesome. It's yeah, just it's, awesome. it's just room. Not, not too big, yeah. But you can go to the website here as well. So we have some student testimony, uh, and then um, you're welcome to look at how they, how they what they say about the, the race, yeah. Uh, Mr. Yan will always send a group email to everyone. Okay. Yeah. So the maybe you never registered the YOCZ and then you have to send the email to me. My email address, uh, hold on, let me type it here. Okay. Because if you're not part of the YOCZ and uh, then we should, uh, you need to send me an email. Hold on. May I ask uh, for some students, I mean, they came from China, they may don't have the opportunity to go through the United States school system. I don't know, will this kind of study be helpful for them? For the college student, undergraduate and uh, graduate student. So you ask him whether they can learn this AI? Yeah. Course, yeah, I this uh, maybe right, they yeah. can arrange a different time. This time is uh Saturday uh two two p.m. uh to six p.m. uh Eastern time. It will be midnight two a.m. to six a.m. It'd be tough for China student, but if they have the again, if they want to ask me a question, send me email. So we we do do that later. But for now, uh this this training uh the coming October twenty one training. It's mainly for North America. The time zone didn't fit them. But later on, if you want to do that, uh, they're welcome. Yeah. 